everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I created this really simple and long-lasting bold makeup look. I think that this is absolutely perfect for the fall and winter months. This is a makeup I probably wear to a Christmas party. I've even worn this makeup look to work and school. I absolutely love it. This particular lipstick is my favorite bold lip for fall and winter and just my favorite bold lip in general. It is the Bite Beauty Cranberry Lipstick. So anyway, if you'd like to see how I did this makeup look, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I've already applied my base and my eyebrows. We're just going to go right into the face makeup, I think. And the first thing I'm going to do is contour. Obviously using my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow and I'm going in with a, I don't know, I always thought this was a MAC 187 brush, but I don't think so. I'm going to have to go look on the website and see what that is, but I'm just going to contour. And when I do a bold lip and eyeliner pairing like this, I always want to make sure that my contouring is very strong because it's just going to give you really nice sculpted and defined edges. Alright, so now I'm going to apply blush, and I want kind of a deep rosy blush to go with the lip color that we're going to be using later. So I'm going in with my NARS Guy Bourdain blush palette, and I'm using this one. I think it's called Goo Goo I don't know how it's pronounced. I'm just taking this blush really lightly with my Bobbi Brown blush brush, and just applying that over top of the contour in circular motions, and just getting on a really nice light layer. Then I'm going to take a little bit of whatever is left of my NARS Laguna bronzer. This thing is just going strong and I'm taking my, this is the, uh, this is the Spa Resources Large Stippling Brush. My favorite bronzer brush. I will never let it go. <laughs> I did get it at Walmart. There's been a lot of questions um, about this brush lately and yeah I just got it at Walmart. It's my favorite bronzer brush ever so I'm just gonna bronze up the face and the neck a little bit just to blend it all together. And I know that this is a little bit different for me but I'm not actually going to apply any highlight because I kind of want to leave the face a little bit more matte just to leave room for the bold lip to stand out. So before we go on to the lip we're actually gonna go ahead and do the eyes. Now I've already applied my eye base. You guys know my usual the NARS Pro Prime and the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. So because that's already been applied, I'm going to go in with eyeshadow and I'm taking my Neutrals palette from MAC and I think I'm going to start out with the shade Brulee, which is this light color here, and I'm just going to apply that all over the eye area and this will just brighten it up. It'll um, give an eyeshadow, like a powder base for the rest of our eyeshadows to be layered on top of. And it just kind of brightens up the whole eye area, and I love to do this. And this is a NARS eyeshadow brush. I'm not actually sure what it's called. It doesn't have a number or a name on it, so sorry. It looks like that. Then I'm going to take my Mirabella blending brush and the shade Kid. This is just my favorite crease shade. I love this. It's just a perfect, cool color. And I'm just going to really messily blend that kind of all over the crease. This will just define the eyes without giving it too much oomph so that the eye won't take away from the lip, but it'll just give it a little extra something and not just a plain boring eyeball. <laughs> I make no sense. Um, and then what I think I'm going to do is just take a little bit of shroom. I'm going to take my ring finger and just kind of dot that in the middle of the lid just to bring a little bit of light to the eyes. And then I'm also going to take a MAC 217 with the same shroom and just highlight the brow bone. And then go in with my pinky finger and also take shroom in the inner corner of the eyes just to finish up the highlight. Then I'm going in with my MAC Chromographic Pencil in NC15 and W20 and I'm just going to line the inner waterline and this will just brighten the eyes very nicely. Then I'm going to take my Kat Von D Tattoo Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to line my lash line. I'm going to do a pretty thick line but I'm not going to do a wing at all. I don't want to wing the line. I just want the lash line to be defined and this will just, I don't know, this is just my favorite thing to do on the eyes when I do a bold lip.
So just a nice thick line to define the lashes, just like this. Sorry guys, I can't talk when I do a liner, it's pretty much impossible. <laughs> and now the hard part is to make them even, which I can never do even when I try my very, very hardest. So now that we've got somewhat of a decent eyeliner on, we're going to go in and do mascara. I'm going to do lots and lots of thick coats on the top lashes, and I'm not going to touch the bottom lashes because I just want them to be left alone and bright and just give it a little bit of a doe-eyed look, if you will. So I'm taking my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara and I'm just going to do multiple multiple coats on the lashes. Alright so now that we've finished the eyes we're going to go in and do the lip. This is the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencil in the shade Cranberry. So what I'm going to do is just apply a lot onto the lips just in the get go. Just like that. And then I'm going to take this Real Techniques Detailer Brush and I'm going to use the brush to apply the outer part of the lip so as to make it as precise as possible. So my little tip with a bold lip is once you've got that first layer on, I'm going to go in with a powder. Whatever powder you have, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is the Sigma E25 brush. And just whatever powder you have, this is my Bare Minerals um, Hydrating Mineral Veil. And I'm just going to tap it onto the lips like this. And this will just set in that first layer of lipstick and make it last a really long time. And then what I'm gonna do is take my lip brush again and another layer of the product and just go over top of that because it will tone down the color a little bit. And this will just make it so that your bold lip doesn't budge and stays in place all day long. I've done this before work a bunch of times and I haven't had to touch up my lipstick once. And that is the bold lip all complete. So I hope you enjoyed watching this bold lip makeup tutorial, everyone. This cranberry high pigment pencil is my personal favorite. I absolutely love this color for fall. It's like, it, it really is like it's called. It is a cranberry color. So I absolutely love this color. And I love the simple eye with it, the simple face makeup. It's very easy. It's long lasting. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if you try my little bold lip tip and let me know how it works for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, everyone, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!